and this is a tutorial on how to use the new KV team firmware okay when you go to the source and download uh, the zip file um, you after unzip it you will have two folders one with the OSD firmware and another one with the graphical user interface okay let's start here with the OSD firmware on your config.h uh, you will have two new features uh, the first one is uh, box MSP box IDs if you are running on your flight control board the uh, latest uh, developments on multi you want to leave it uh, commented uh, the second one is your OXD switch um, you can use your TX landing light switch to turn some of the functions of the, the your OSD on or off. Okay, let's uh, load this. I'm going to run with you through the entire process, so we won't uh, miss a thing. Okay, loading. After this, I'm going to make another video uh, with a bench test on this firmware. Okay, done. I'm running on a Mac, so I'm going to use the executable file for Mac. Okay, so let's open port you can see that I have already my stuff programmed if this is the first time you're using this firmware and uh, graphical user interface you need to make a reset and restart okay you can directly upload the new font map or you can edit your own font map let's make just uh, okay I'm going to to upload the font map directly to my Max. And after I will show you how to edit uh, the font map to use your own stuff on it. Okay. The font map upload, uh, it's much faster now. The entire process is uh, much more simplified. Okay, done. Let's edit uh, one zero. Let's fill this uh, zero with white so you can see what I'm talking about. That's how you can make your own stuff, your own logos, uh, your own characters. Okay, done. Let's save. Can now see the zero filled with white here. Okay, let's close. Uh, now, for the options you had before on config.h, they are most of all are here already. I have a Rushduino board, original Rushduino. If you have a minimum OST, you have to select it. Okay, RSSE, all the, all the, the boxes on your left are for on, on your right for off, so I have my RSSE off at this moment. Main voltage, display voltage on, voltage minimum, battery cells, and main voltage divider okay uh, my voltage is coming from my flight control board so main voltage multi-wee 
if you want, you want to use uh, your ADC uh, and make some modes to your Minim or use uh, Rushduino original ADC or uh, analog input voltage, uh, you must select here enable OSD read AD ADC. Okay, mine is off at this moment. So, amperage, um, amperage, uh, display amperage is off, uh, consumed current is on. I'm using power meter from the flight control. Video voltage off, uh, video voltage could be equal to multi V. In that case, you can use analog uh, on main voltage and uh, your VBAT uh, to display uh, VIT voltage. Okay. Temperature, battery bore, uh, bore type, sorry. Um, this is uh, not okay. This is uh, GPS. Uh, display GPS is on. Cords are off. Uh, display heading on. Display heading 360. You can have 180 or 360. Okay. If you put off, you will have 180. 360. Okay. Uh, other metric uh, or imperial. Okay. Uh, video signal, video type, and TSC or PAL. Uh, display display throttle position, display horizon bar. Uh, they are all on here, and as I said before, my ADC is off. Our SSE, when I have it on, it's on here. Multi V, multi V. Okay. Now for the second board. Here you have already uh, some of the functions for the simulator, not all. Uh, the simulator controls are disabled at this moment, but you can already see some stuff going on here. I can show you. Okay. This is your artificial horizon. Okay. And heading. Okay. So, and that's it. Uh, thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and to use our stuff. Uh, we are happy with that. Okay. See you soon. Bye bye.